friends, welcome to Simply Cooking with Coach Sarah. If you're not in my free Facebook group, you should hop on over to Simply Cooking with Coach Sarah. If you're watching from YouTube, don't forget to hit like, subscribe, and the notification bell. And if you can hit hashtag replay for me, it's a free way to help your sister out. So good morning, good morning. I am excited to break it down for you guys how we're gonna make the chocolate peanut butter banana breakfast cookies. Whew, that's a lot to say. So we're gonna do it together. If you gathered up all your supplies, I hope you did, um, we are gonna make these right now. It's so quick, so easy. I'm gonna share my tips with you, especially if you have a sweet tooth like I do. And be sure to say hello and good morning. Good morning, Cheryl. Good morning, Janet. Good morning, Kimberly. Hope you guys are having a great morning so far. Okay, so step one. We're actually gonna make the oat flour. So I wanted to show you guys this because it's so easy. You don't need to buy special flour. In case you're new to Trim Healthy Mama, like just get some rolled oats. So the ones that I use are from, actually I get these at Costco and it's a really good price. It's like $6 for this giant bag or something. And they're sprouted. Bonus, they're sprouted. So all I do, this is really, really easy to make your own. You just put it in your blender, that's it. So I was just gonna show you guys, this is my Vitamix. And you can make extra, I don't really measure it. We do need quite a bit because we're gonna do four times the recipe on this. So I shared that in the um, comments. I think it's in the event for you guys, but I will share it on the description of this after as well. But we're just gonna pour a bunch in here so we can make some flour. And that's it. All right. Now it's really quiet. My daughter took my little people upstairs, so it's quiet down here. It's weird. Okay. So I'm just going to turn the blender on. I'm like at a three on my Vitamix. It's, I'm not like going to 12, 10. I guess it goes to 10. That looks pretty good. Okay, good morning. How are you? Good. <laughs> Here's Araya. Okay, so you guys see that was so, so easy to do. That's all you have to do anytime it calls for oat flour. Now remember, oat fiber and oat flour are not the same. They're not the same. Oat fiber is um, can be used in an S and oat flour. What am I doing? I got to move this out of the way. Okay. Oat flour. Okay. Sorry. I'm making you guys all jiggly. Oat flour you want to keep for your emails. Okay. So I know I showed you guys the one minute version of this, but I like to walk you guys through these things because sometimes it's just helpful to um, see it and hear someone explain it. I also want to tell you in the short video I showed, I did not mash up the banana first. I think you should mash up the banana first because it was just a little bit harder. So I'm putting in my banana and then it's just a third of a second banana. Oh, I don't like that piece. It was kind of sketchy looking. Let's see what we have here. That's better. All right. My inner perfectionist coming out. All right. So, we are going to mash up our banana. So if you're doing this with me, this is really easy peasy. Then, we're gonna add up all the other ingredients. That's another reason I like this recipe. It's all in one bowl, and I love one bowl recipes. You guys, I woke up, I've been going um, mushroom hunting with my dad. It's morel mushroom season in Minnesota and we're like two weeks behind, two or three weeks behind Tennessee. Anyways, I forgot to check for ticks and this was like a couple nights ago and sure enough, I woke up in the middle of the night and there's one like glued to me. Do you guys have those little like tick tongs? I had to get those out and get it off and then I am not a tick expert. I tried to wash it down the sink. 
I hope you're all shaking your head at me right now. They don't die with water. I mean, scalding hot water, they, they don't die, nothing. So it literally crawled out of the sink. Then I tried flushing it down the toilet. I don't know if it was that tick or not, because it seems very bizarre, but I woke up and I had one on my neck attached to me. And I'm like, this tick will not die. So if you have tick, tick tips, let me know. I have it now. I, I caught this one and it's in a Ziploc bag. I guess rubbing alcohol kills them. I haven't done that yet. Anyways, that's a side point. Okay. I don't like ticks. Now we are going to add our oat flour. So I'm just going to measure this out. Da -da -da. We're just going to put everything in here. That looks awesome. And then we are going to add, oh, I need a little bit more. Let me see if this will go in there. Now, you guys, this will keep. So all you have to do is throw this in a Ziploc bag and then just save it for the next batch when you do it again or whatever other recipes you're making, which you guys, I think I need to show you. What is that recipe called? Blueberry crumble. Have you guys made blueberry crumble? Do you guys want to see that next week? I'm seriously, my daughter made it and it's so good. So let me know, say blueberry crumble if you guys want to see that next week. It's an, uh, we'll make it E style. Okay, now we are going to add, oh, I forgot to get up. Did I forget my salt? Maybe I did. Okay, we are going to add our salt. That looks good. And then we're gonna do cocoa powder. So this one, you guys, if you've been watching me for a while, you know I get this from Costco and I buy it in bulk. You can get it online though, you guys. So if you missed the season to buy it at Costco, which it's um, just during the holidays, then, where is it? There we go. Then you can order it online from Costco. So, okay, you guys, do you still have some of these left over from Trim Healthy Mama bags? This is a quarter of a cup. So this is super helpful because they fit in these bags nice and easy. So I'm gonna add this. And then we're going to add our gentle sweet. Okay, so now gentle sweet. You guys, these cookies, they're not super sweet. So if you're thinking, when I say cookie, I mean, I think that's why they're titled breakfast cookie in my humble opinion, because it's right at your height. It's like a fume of, flat. okay, maybe step back. I don't want it. you breathing all that in. Um, I think that's why they're called breakfast cookies because ideally it's not as sweet as a traditional dessert cookie. So I'm gonna show you guys a tip if you have a sweet tooth like mine. We're actually not gonna add extra sweetener here. We're gonna keep it as is. Then you can decide if you're in the mood for sweeter, sweeter or not. Okay, now we're gonna add, where's my baking powder? Wow, you guys, I did not get out my measuring spoon. I don't know what I'm doing. Um, where is it? There it is. Okay, I have, I okay, I don't know about you guys, but I have like 700 measuring spoons. I have a couple of these from Epicure, I really like them. Okay, I have to pay attention for a second. Are you guys, I did not forget the salt. Can someone just give me a thumbs up for not forgetting the salt? I feel so proud. I'm so happy. Okay, um, anyways, I use these. It has teaspoon, teaspoon, tablespoon, and then it has half of a teaspoon and a quarter all in one, which I love. And so I have a couple of these. Of course, I have the Tremelty Mama ones as well. I love those ones too. I mean, I just love... I love all things measuring. It's really fun. Even though you guys know me too, that I don't always measure, but there are times when it's appropriate and this is one of those we need to measure. So now we're gonna add Creamy Dreamy. If you don't have this and you use whey, please just note that it's gonna be a runnier batter when you go to make it. So just be prepared for that. All right, so what do we need to add here? I love this stuff, you guys. It's really worth it. And if you're um, dairy low or dairy free, this is a great way to still feel like you're indulging. It's really good. 
Well, good morning, Dorothy. Hi, Carla. Christina, how are you guys? Um, okay, is that it? Then almond milk. That's all. So we need to measure our almond milk, and then we're just going to mix this together. I have to look on the side. Perfect. Are you being my assistant? You're so sweet. I love you. You're a good helper. She made soup for us. The, was that last night? No, two nights ago. It was so good. Really good. She loves when we get um, rotisserie chickens from Costco. And it's really, really easy to make so many things out of those, you guys. If you're looking for a drive through Sue uh, dinner, then those $4.99. I mean, you can't beat that price either. $4.99 for a whole rotisserie chicken for your family. That's a crazy good deal. That's a Costco. Okay. I'm just going to mix this too. So after we get this mixed, if you want to get out, if you do not have these Epicure silicone mini loaf pans, you need them. You really do. It's going to make life so much easier. Uh, otherwise, you can probably do this in a mug. I haven't tried it, but I'm guessing you can. And it might get stuck, so you might want to spray it. So either way, um, just... You gotta experiment. Oh my goodness, you guys. Do you know what I did? I tried something for you guys. I had an epic fail. I need to post it so you can see the picture. I tried to make the butterfly wings cake in two minutes. It looks like a pancake. It was not good. It turned out bad. So you can keep praying over that one. I'm looking for a shortcut because that is a good recipe. Okay, so now I'm just gonna take my silicone pans, and this is why we times it by four. I actually like to put them all in at once so I can see if I did it equal or not because I can overdo it. So let's stick it in there. Also, if you guys have these, these are 100% silicone. There's no fillers, no junk. Um, make sure that you do not use silicone, not silicone, aerosol, aerosol sprays because it will damage the silicone. So, you guys, if you're commenting, I can't see a single one. Can someone say hi just so I can see if I can't? I don't know if you guys are talking to me. I feel terrible because I like to answer your questions live and I'm not seeing anything. So, if you can say hi, that would be awesome. And if I don't see your hello, it's because I, I probably can't see anything, which is really sad. I don't know. Facebook likes to uh, not cooperate with me sometimes. Okay, let's see. Almost, we need a little bit more in each one. Okay, I have to get rid of this. It's gonna make me crazy. There we go. Just wanna finish putting them in. And this one needs a little bit more. And then that is good. I think that looks pretty good. Does that one need a little bit more too? Just a tiny bit more? Mm -hmm. Okay. So, this is a little bit more than halfway. Just a little bit over. Can you guys see that? All right, so we are going to throw this on a plate and stick it in the microwave for two minutes. Now, you guys, while we're waiting on that, um, I want to tell you, don't cook them all in the microwave at the same time. It will be worth you your time to just put them in for two minutes each because otherwise they don't cook evenly. So just do it one at a time and four of them is gonna take you eight minutes. So just as they come out, just put the next one in. It's really, it's really not a problem because also while this one's cooling, you can do all the things. All right, so now we're gonna make the filling. So while that's cooking, you can get out a bowl. And we're, this is so easy, you guys. And you can even use this filling, uh, this peanut butter filling for as your peanut junkie butter for anything. Like I never measure, I'm gonna measure this. I am measuring this. 
but I never measure when I make peanut junkie butter because I literally just add this, a couple pinches of salt, some gentle sweet, and either water or almond milk, and then I just kind of taste it, and then when it's like perfect, I will, um, then I'll add it to whatever, like if I'm making an Elvis sandwich, have you guys made that yet? It's really good. So, I'm thinking I'm not seeing your comments, you guys. I will come back and answer them if I didn't already answer your questions. Because I'm not seeing anything. I can just see who's watching. Hi, Erin. Sort of, it just kind of randomly pops up. So now we're going to add our Gentle Sweet. So, grab that out. What are you eating? She made, okay, it's grandma's birthday yesterday. And so she made the strawberry, the straw, what are the, strawberry from Casty Cake as cupcakes. You can show them, they would like it. And then she put on top of it the um, carrot, no, what was it? The cream cheese. Cream cheese icing from Trim Healthy Future. So, is it really good? Mm -hmm. All right, now let's pull this one out because we want to let this cool. All right, look at this, you guys. Two minutes, bada bing, bada boom, done. Next, let's put the next one in. Keep them rolling. See, and I don't even have my icing done. So, just tells me. We're doing good. Um, okay, salt. So add the salt, do, 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 and a little bit more. Okay. Then it's almond milk time. Almond milk time. All right, what do we have? Oh, I hope you saw in my note here to add the extra two tablespoons of almond milk. When in doubt, you can add a little bit more almond milk. Good morning, Denise. Good morning, Erin. So we're gonna mix that. Yeah, don't get stuck where you feel like you can't modify a recipe. Oh, see, I don't like how dry this is. So, I'm giving myself permission to add more almond milk. Just a little bit. I think I just added another tablespoon and a half. Let's see if I like this consistency. I feel like I should have got a bigger bowl. I'm trying to keep it in there. All right, that looks good. I probably added too much, so maybe Maybe just do one tablespoon. That was a little too much. But look at that. You could drizzle this on like a fuel pool ice cream. Oh, what is that one? Is it like polar bear ice cream from the Trim Healthy Mama cookbook? That would be so good. Okay. Yep, I added a little bit too much almond milk, but that's okay. Doesn't that look good? It's still gonna work because we're gonna throw them in the freezer. Okay, our next one's done. Woo, look at that. All right, I'm gonna set this over here. Get the next one going. Then I'm, we're gonna show you what to do. Oops, there we go. Okay, so now all we have to do is grab out a plate. And these are nice because I just, I mean, you can already see it's not stuck. It's not stuck. So I just have to. Pop it out. Ba-da! You guys see that? <laughs> I'm my own sound effects. Okay. Polar bear. Oh, I can see a comment now. Yes, thank you, Renee, for posting the link. I appreciate that. Polar bear ice cream. Gotta try it. Yes, you do. Okay. I'm seeing a couple comments now. So I'm letting this cool. It's a little bit hot. So ideally let it cool for just a minute so you don't get burnt. I'm still gonna just show you guys, but all you have to do, get a good knife, like a bread knife, or if you have a really good knife that cuts through um, bready products, because you don't want it all smashed. So let's see if I can do this without making a hot mess. Ta-da! Okay, that looks good. There we go. Okay, so we cut it in half, and now all we have to do, 
Oh, you like my shirt? Yes, it is a fun color. Yeah, Coach Canada made these. Okay. And it has all the things that we do as coaches, which is really cool. Like, I, you guys probably can't read it, but it says educate, cheer, prepare, motivate. I can't read them all either. Teach. They're upside down for me. So, now we are going to take this. Did you measure the oats after they're blended to flour then? Oh, yes, I did. I did measure it after. Okay, so I'm going to take the peanut butter mix. And remember, you have to fill four of them. So don't, I mean, if you go crazy, you're just going to have a sad one at the end. So fill that. Put the top on. Mmm. Lick your finger. It's necessary. Look at that. Oh, heaven is for real. Okay. Now, what I'm going to do, get some parchment paper or, I mean, you can use plastic wrap. I just prefer to use parchment paper, whatever you have. And then all you have to do is take, you can even do, if it's warm, which yours is going to be cool, right? Mine's really warm, so I have to be kind of careful. I'm just going to put this in parchment paper like that. Oh, mm. Got to lick my fingers. That's good. Then we're going to take this, roll it up. You can put a little tape on it or whatever. Sometimes I just throw it in like this. You want to say hi? And then um, you stick this in the freezer. If you stick it in five, 10 minutes max, it'll be ready to eat. So super, super helpful. And, but maybe microwave might be the charm. Yes. Wait, let's see. I've made these three times and they're so dense. Don't care for them. Um, they are a very, like I thought I would want to eat multiples, but they are very dense. So I, it's a lot for me to eat one. And I, and that I'm coming from a very humble place there because I love food and I can eat a lot. Excuse me, honey. Okay. Let's pull this one out and we're gonna put the last one in. So you repeat the process for all four of them. So that's easy. Then you're going to pull them out from the freezer. If you have it in the freezer, this one was actually in the freezer. You're gonna to wanna to let it thaw for at least like 10, 15 minutes because otherwise, well, it's gonna to be too hard and you're gonna break your teeth. So don't break teeth. I don't need anybody to have broken teeth. You could flash freeze them on a cookie sheet first and then wrap them up. Yes, you could do that, but I don't think you need to. So, cause here we go. I'm pulling this out. Can you guys see? So this one was, I actually kept this one in the fridge overnight. So if you know you're gonna eat it, you can just throw it in the fridge. But look at that. You guys see how awesome this looks? This is out of the fridge. So let's tear this in half. Is that good? Then you eat it. Oh, that's good. Now you ready for my secret? This is, if you're having this with a sweet cup of coffee, this is gonna be perfect as is. If you are having this and you want this as your dessert, sister friends, let me show you. The house next door to me, Denise, just sold. You could have been my neighbor. You could have. So get your gentle sweet out, you guys. I'm telling you, oh, I can't open it now. I'm having issues. This takes this up a notch. It is a little messier, totally worth it, totally worth it. Just put this on top, like a, a very generous dousing of sweetener. Oh yeah, oh, that's so good. You guys, I'm telling you, you gotta keep it on top too so you can eat it. Mmm. Oh yeah, just like a donut. It's straight up like a donut. Like a chocolate donut filled with peanut butter. So try this. If you did not love the, love them, you're gonna love that. Okay, I think that's it. I hope you guys go make these. Super, super easy. Do it in the microwave. And then just repeat the process for all of them. Throw them in the freezer if you're not gonna eat them right away. Throw them in the fridge if you um, know you're gonna eat them fairly soon. If you wanna eat it though in like five, 10 minutes, <clears throat> throw it in the freezer for five, 10 minutes. Oh, 
my freezer is also zero degrees. And I think that matters for me to tell you that because I know some people have, um, they don't have like a deep freeze and I throw them in my deep freeze. So it's way quicker in my deep freeze than like my regular freezer. So if you have a deep freezer, you can do that. Otherwise it might take just a smidgen longer. So, okay. Round shape, I call a whoopie pie. Buttercream instead of vanilla. Oh, I can't see all your comment, but that sounds awesome. All right. Oh, Dorothy, I love you too. You're so sweet. You guys are awesome. Have I tried it in the oven? Of course not, Cheryl. No, because I haven't had time. <laughs> are they great? I'm sure they're just as awesome in the oven. So, all right. I love you guys. I hope you have an awesome day. If you're watching from YouTube, don't forget to hit like, subscribe, and the notification bell. If you guys want to see that blueberry crumble next week, put blueberry crumble in the comments and uh, we can make that next time. So have an awesome day. If you're not in my free cooking group, hop on over to Facebook and join me in Simply Cooking with Coach Sarah. And I'll see you guys next time. All right. Bye guys. Bye.